Hey everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. I thought I'd show you just some of the things that I am doing this morning. Got my apron on. So let's get started. Hey, apron means serious work. So I am cleaning out my refrigerator. I gotta do some grocery shopping and I thought I'd take you along with me too to shop some of the sales. I'll tell you more about that, but I've been doing this a lot through, through the summer. And so my refrigerator is a little bit on the fritz, so I don't have very much stuff in here. We have another back fridge, so I have a lot of it in there. And so I thought I'd take this opportunity to start cleaning the shelves. So first off, I clean the drawer, super easy to do, and I'm loving using this Dawn Power Wash. So I'll be using this on the shelves in here as well. And you can see it's stainless steel and I need to give it a good clean in which I am using just a steel, it's called steel for real. And so I like using it on these doors, but you kind of have to buff it out a tiny bit. Let me know down below if you have a really good go-to stainless um, appliance cleaner. Now let's get started. All right, super glad this is now much cleaner. I can get things in here, which we're going to the store very soon. So I'll uh, get that in there. But I also, let me tell you some of the things I did do while I was in there. All right, so I took out some expired things, things that we're not using just to rinse them out. And then this is our little recycling area. So I just need to take that out to the front. So. We can put it in its bin, but I love these. Um, these are washable, but they're reusable grocery bags. And so I just use those to hold my uh, recyclables. And what I do need to do is hit Winco very soon because I love using paper sacks, the, ba the bags that they have there, that I could just put them right into the recycle can. Makes it so much easier. And the boys don't moan and groan as much about it too. So, um, so I'll be doing that very soon, stay tuned. But another thing that I have to do today, um, this was in the back freezer, it says chocolate chip. I have to make some chocolate chip cookies because I have these, um, just readily available in the freezer so that boys can put them in their lunches or Paul could have it as a snack or a treat. And I'll tell you that I make them with Kamut flour, which is a gluten-free flour. So it's actually really good. Let me know down below if you've heard of Kamut flour or have ever tried it and what you think. So um, I get ours from the Food Nanny. And so there's a warehouse out in Utah that they can ship or my son who's in Utah buys me the big bags of them and when he comes to visit, so I just pay him back, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, we have a lot going on today. Let's start heading to the store. All right, I have my ad with me and I'm gonna go shop some sales for part or most of what we need this week. So let's go to Vaughn's. All right, I got some good stuff and I can't wait to show you. All right, you guys, I know I can't wait to show you because there are some new things that I bought and I want some of your input. So I like the sales, of course. I got, I went to go get the soda. So good soda sales are four for 12, if not cheaper, or the, the six pack bottles, those little the bottles for like five packs for $10, which I've been seeing recently. So let's start unpacking and I'll show you what I got. So first off, I bought Paul some almond milk and myself some, and with the kids, some um, just regular 2%. We, that's, the kids really just use it for cereal, but lately I kind of, Paul and I have been doing like I have some slim fast stuff that I want to get rid of. He's got some protein shake stuff that we want to get rid of. 
So I'm trying to make it so that maybe every other night we are having one with dinner or dinner replacement. And so that with some fruits and vegetables like that, I just feel like uh, gives me a break. We're in soccer season now. So, um, and we're running a lot in the evening, like getting, leaving the house. So easy peasy dinners is what I need. Um, so this is going to be good for us. I do want to get to um, Costco and get um, the Orgain, more Orgain um, protein powder and chocolate because that's my favorite. And then I'll start taking that with Paul. One of their big sales at Vons this week was um, London Broil. I don't want to take them all out, but these, there's two huge ones and they are under $2 a pound, which is, if you can get a good sale, it's like $3 a pound. Um, and so this whole thing was $10 and I got two of them. So um, I, with this, I'll probably have to separate them and put them in their own freezer bag because I know our family, usually one is plenty. So um, having two will be leftovers. And if I have any leftover steak, I slice it up and I put it in a bag and I mark it SOS because that's what I'll make with it when um, we have more um, steak in the bag to just put it, um, it's kind of like a chip toast. I think that's what it's, some people call it. Let me know down below if you have some SOS, which stands for something more adult, <laughs> but it is so good served with homemade mashed potatoes. Mm, the best. All right, another thing I got, I picked up just some bacon. I'm gonna cook some bacon up, have it in the refrigerator so that kids, Paul, myself, can just have a couple of slices before, for our breakfast. Um, I picked up uh, chocolate chip waffles as he's a big fan. And so he's getting to an age now where he wants to be more independent. So I just put the toaster on the counter and let him make his own. So this is what I've never bought before, you guys. And that are these folios, they're cheese wraps. They normally come in uh, Parmesan flavoring, but I saw this cheddar one and I thought, I'm gonna try this for Paul. Um, they are gluten-free and lactose-free. So I thought maybe I could try this. Let me know down below how, if you've had it and how do you prep it? Do you cook them individually? Are they ready to roll? help. <laughs> so I want to uh, have him try some, some things because, you know, with this journey, we are constantly trying, you know, gluten-free stuff for him, um, you know, and then he kind of restarts again, all that fun stuff. You know what I'm talking about. All right. These pizzas were on sale for the kids. Uh, they were like $2.50 each. So definitely had to buy them. They're good for an emergency. So I like to call them emergency pizza. So let me put this stuff away and start showing you some more. All right, I like to keep these on hand. Um, just some hamburger patties. They're like 80-20, which is a good fat ratio when you're looking for some hamburger beef. Um, I just grill it right here on the cooktop. I have a pan that has the grill on it and I have a system, you guys. So I know what I need to do first. I know that I could start heating up the pan by um, uh, toasting up the buns. I know I need to start getting the cheese out when the meat goes on, how to season it and I cover it like it's, and I know how to put things into the oven at what times, these um, onion rings and tater tots to have it all ready around the same time. It is so easy and it makes it so good. I mean, it's delicious. Sometimes I even have put my burger right on just lettuce and tomato, made it like a little salad. I haven't done it lately, so I'm just letting you know, but it is still a good alternative to like me having bread. And I also, um, Paul won't eat the, the buns. I usually make him his own buns with kamut flour. And so it makes it a really nice uh, dinner for him to have as well. All right, these were on sale. I got a couple of them for like $1.27. I picked up some corn tortillas to make some enchiladas. So we'll have those sometime this week. And then you guys, look what I found. Have you ever had these little um, soups? They have like little crunches on the top. Um, I don't normally buy soup in the can, um, but these were clearancing out for like $1.10 or $1.15. And I just thought for Ezra, he's a little bit picky for um, well, with food, but <laughs> I thought maybe he could try some of these, like here's loaded potato. Um, this is creamy tomato. So there's some different options. 
and maybe he'll like it. And then maybe I could just start making the recipe for it, right? So let me put these away and we're near the end. All right, I picked up some potatoes. We love having baked potatoes with, you know, taco meat or broccoli cheddar soup on top of it. So good. I picked up tomatoes. Roma are some of my favorites. These are so good sliced up on a toasted bagel with cream cheese. And don't forget, lots of lemon pepper. Delicious. Just some lettuce for the burgers, which is what the tomatoes are also for. These strawberries were only 97 cents each. What a good sale. So we will definitely be having those with our snacks today. And some more apples. So it is that time of year. I can't wait to have apples on sale all over the place. Apple, I love making some apple dandy, which I'll show you soon if you don't already know what that is but it, it is so good and it has cheese on it. What? <laughs> and some cucumbers make a perfect snack for after school and some baby carrots. So if we don't use up the carrots, I like to chop them up and put them in freezer bags along with like celery, broccoli, any of our, those vegetables that don't get used up. I try to chop them up and put them into the freezer for adding it into like casseroles and soups. All right, I picked up some Cheerios. These were just $1.99 each. I am more of a fan of this one and everybody else is a fan of this one, which is still very good, but I do like the mixed one. I picked up some cheese. These were just $1.80 or so each. And I did splurge and picked up this bigger container of mayonnaise. You guys, I go through myself a lot of mayonnaise. So um, I just like to like when I make tuna sandwiches or just making a sandwich or for burgers. I, did, I make my own fry sauce, which is just the mayonnaise and um, ketchup mixed in together. Nobody else likes it, especially, especially Paul. He is not a fan of mayonnaise. That's why I did the, yeah, that view. So yeah, I thought, I hope you got a little chuckle out of that. Uh, just a can of uh, pinto beans. These are good for when we're having some Mexican and I need a little side for me. I'm the only one who likes it. Another thing that I like that nobody else likes in my house is macaroni salad, just a little one. This will probably last me like three days if I eat a little bit every day. I just went to the deli and picked up some ham off the bone. I recently uh, picked up some at Walmart and I really like the taste of it. Uh, I'm not a huge smoky flavored, you know, add extra flavor kind of person to the hams or lunch meats. I just want it as is, you know? And I feel like the the, the ham off the bone is, um, did I say turkey before? Hmm, hopefully not, but ham off the bone is super good. I picked up this, uh, this side of mac and cheese. The kids like the mac and cheese. So this will be something that we'll have with uh, for dinner and then they'll get bigger portions because Paul and I probably won't have much or at any at all, but I might have a bite because I like to taste. And then these uh, Doritos were like $1.87 full, but you had to buy three. So I got three of them. Just, I got one spicy and two regulars. Uh, I picked up Paul some kind granola bars. These are gluten-free and he really likes them. Um, I, these are like the kid ones, so they're kind of more narrow. The ones I used to get him more in the past are like more like square. So I hope they taste the same. And then I just picked up some of these little packs of goldfish for Jonas when he makes his lunches. It's just easy to throw one of those in there. Um, although he could probably put some of those Doritos in there. So I just got that as a little treat for him. And so all of this food, $150, not bad. Plus I picked up some bonus points using the Vons app, which I love doing. So that is it, you guys. I hope you like the haul. Give it a thumbs up the video. Let me know some of the things that, you, that maybe I purchased that you would get too, or that you love getting. And thanks for watching me get you know all the cleaning done and getting everything ready for my haul. So have a wonderful day, rollers. Stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye everyone.